Hey, it's Wilsa here. What you're holding in your hand is the best self-working ring vanishing device in the world. It was originally conceptualized for a TV segment that I was designing, and we wanted something that makes sense, something that's completely self-working, and something that's really clean because it was for TV. The first one was made in 10 days about this size and it was a working prop and after that I loved it so much I spent the next two and a half years to nail all the details down so what you're holding right now is a ordinary looking very small ring box on the inside it's all precisely engineered in order to make it space efficient we made over 30 prototypes with different materials different size different simulation different calculations and we're very proud of the final product many of the top pros in the world they're already using it in their live tour and shows and now you can too the vanishing ring is not just a trick it's a device that allows you to adapt to your current routines anything that requires you to vanish a ring. It's a perfect impossible location effect. Ring to kiwi, ring to seal envelope in a wallet, ring to shoelace, ring to photos, you name it. And now, let's get into it. It opens. Now it's hard for me to show you at an angle, but when you press the thing, it opens and the ring falls right out like that. This is how you retrieve the ring. And that's the secret. This is what you receive. The sticker here indicates the color of your prop. And then when you open the box, there is the main managing ring device and a customized training ring. The reason why we supply you with the customized ring is to help train you on picking up the correct type of ring to use. In the later section, we'll get into more details. When you borrow a ring from your spectators, there are a couple of things you should know. First, this ring is made with the max diamond size um, that the ring box will take. So anything that's smaller than this diamond, it will work. And obviously, it's gonna work with the band type of ring with no stone. And the ring size is made with men's size nine. Usually girls, they, their ring is um, somewhere between 6.5, 6 6.5 to 7.5. Up to this size, the ring box is no problem to work with. And when you borrow the ring, always check out their base. This part, the holder, the holder of the stone, the holder of the diamond. You can have the design with like claws toward the outside. It's gonna, now you know how the ring box works. It's gonna grab onto the cushion. So you want it to look for these type of smooth edge. Um, it's okay to have the claw to grab the diamond as normal, but not the other way. And those are the things you look for when you borrow a ring. Here's the handling. Now, when you first receive the device, everything is very stiff. You need to work the device in. It's spring-loaded, and you want to make sure the spring 
snapshots very smoothly as well as the cushion is breaking a little bit. So what you do is you want to position the ring into the ring box and shut it with a little force like this. And you would hear the, uh, the sounds making is very crisp and that's what you are looking for. And that a few times like that. And now, actually execute the move for a few times to make sure the ring always falls into the compartment. See, this is the sound you want. First, we'll cover how to vanish the ring. And you probably already know that the ring, as long as it sits there, it could be vanished. However, uh, the magician, which is you, could do it, but it's a lot stronger to allow the spectator to do everything herself. So what you do is you basically, you wanted to borrow a ring from them, you introduce the ring box, and then you have the spectator put the ring right there for you. You get them to hold up their hand like that, place the ring box on their palm. At this point, I'm doing this to show the camera, but normally people would hold it this way because it's a natural height for them. And at this position, they could see the ring and if you have audience around you or if you do stage work, parlor, it's a great display for all audience. Have them put the other hand on top like that, right? So when they shut it, because it's spring loaded, so it's gonna shut really fast. Um, the working and everything uh, is perfectly concealed. Nobody will see anything. This movement allows the ring to be visible for all audience to see until the very last second. And on top, right away, it feels like the spectator is almost protecting the box, so it feels very isolated. And when you're right beside the spectator, or if you're a couple steps away, it looks really clean. The moment they open the ring box again, it's already gone. It's very clean, it's very strong, and it feels very isolated. And at that point, you'll be beside the spectator, making the magic happen, and obviously, the moment they shut it, something has to happen. Um, that's the magic, magical part. And when you do the magic, you instruct them to reopen the ring box, they find the ring disappear. It's a surprise, and Right now your task is to retrieve the ring. When the magic happens, all the attention is in that impossible location. For example, if the ring disappears and you're making it reappear inside of a kiwi, and now all the attention goes onto the kiwi, so you casually grab the ring box off the spectator's palm, close it, and then when you're pocketing this ring box, whether if you're doing hand transpo or on the same hand, you're gonna casually press on the trap door so to allow the ring to drop out of the box I'm showing you um, the, the movement it's very quick very subtle and everything is concealed in your in your hand to show you with an exposed view it will look like that and at the moment that the ring falls out personally I stack the ring box on top of the ring so I'm still very casual just holding the ring box, dropping my hand, and then putting the ring box in my pocket, allowing the ring to basically go into my finger palm, but not really because I'm just holding onto it. So there's no, it's very casual, there's no moving this. My buddy Cero, he's also using this in his show, and the way that he retrieved the ring is after the, the ring is vanished, he holds the ring box, he grabs the ring box and holds the ring box this way. So, very casual, I'm, I'm, sh I'm holding it this high to show the camera, but he's lowering the hand very naturally. He would trigger the ring box with the same hand this way. So the ring falls naturally into his finger palm position already. And now he would then pick up the ring box with the other hand and put it in his pocket while naturally lowering the hand in keeping the ring in his finger palm position. So he's already got the ring in his right hand. Personally, I prefer to grab the ring box of the spectator's hand and because I need two hands to close the ring box. Everything happens in a very casual manner and remember at this point the magic has already happened so there's no heat in anything you do here. It's just very casual, almost like a subconscious kind of thing. You will grab the ring box, close it and in the act of tossing the ring box or passing the ring box from your right hand to left hand, I trigger it 
at, at the moment of tossing. So I allow the ring to fall into my palm first and stack the ring case right on top like that. Both way work, they're just different preferences and you should try both to find out what fits you best. What usually happens in my own show is I have a camera person follow me on stage. So there's a projection and I like to be clean the whole time. After I pocket the ring box, the ring stays in my hand when I pull my hand out of my pocket. And here's a cool move. After I stack the ring box on top of the ring, I can pick up the ring underneath the ring box very cleanly. And when I do that, I can even casually toss the ring box from hand to hand. The momentum allows both objects to travel at the same time. And the velvet on the ring box gives enough friction to carry the ring with the box. So everything looks very casual. So that's how you retrieve the ring. This device is basically self-working. Just play with it, you'll get it in no time.